One of the fairly straightforward options that we have are to plot the data that are found in the different columns as separate subplots instead of putting all of them on the same axes. One reason we might want to do this is that if the columns contain data that have a widely, wildly different uh, maximum values, then plotting them on the same y-axis scale doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If we do subplots, each of the y-axes will be independent. By default, the x-axes for the two subplots will be shared, although we can override that if we want. We can also apply a fig size equal argument, and that will allow us to um, control the size of the plot if we find that it's too small. So returning back to our data from before, um, I'm going to do a couple uh, improvements. One is I'm going to add a title to the graph. The other is that I'm going to tell it it's allowed to plot two separate subplots. So if I do that, I can see that it's now separated out the number of COVID-19 cases from the number of COVID-19 deaths. And you can see that the scale of deaths is much smaller than the scale of cases. However, there still are some things that uh, are not that great. One thing is that the graph is pretty squashed in the vertical direction. So um, one of the easiest things that I can do is to go in and set the size of the figure. So um, I think the units here are inches, but mostly you can play around with them, changing the numbers until you get a decent size for this um, the notebook that you're using. So let's go ahead and try this with the changed sizes. And now we can see that the plots uh, are not as uh, compressed. I'll actually make my screen size a little bit smaller so that we can see. Um, and then here is the title that has been placed up at the top. It's also possible to change the scales from a uh, linear scale to a logarithmic scale. And in this case, that might be useful because if, if we are interested in knowing about the rate at which the epidemic is growing, then if it's growing at a constant rate, then we should be able to see that in the logarithmic scale. So we can add the log y equals true uh, argument. And if we do that, then the graph looks like this. So at the in the time period where the epidemic is growing, uh, is uh, increasing exponentially, I get a uh, sloped line here. When the curve is growing linearly, then the, it flattens out on the logarithmic scale. So this is useful for especially examining patterns early on in the epidemic when uh, the actual values are rather small and we may be more interested in the growth rate. 